join us. Everyone's invited, of course. Hey, Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another vintage collection Star Wars action figure review. So we're looking at Grief Karga, number VC-185, from the latest wave of the Black Series. These have started hitting big W's here in Australia, which has not held vintage collection for a very, very long time, um, with exception of some of the uh, carbonised um, ones that came out. Late last year, the other figures in the wave, the, to the, there were only three figures on the pegs when I saw them. There was another Grief and there was a Zuton. Uh, only one I'm needing now is the Child, Rogu. But uh, interestingly, Hasbro went with the Season 2 look for Grief Karga for the Vintage Collection first. Um, I guess they just wanted to do something a little bit different to the uh, Season 1 version they released in the Black Series. So I'll take it. It's nice to have Grief in the collection and another character for my uh, three and three quarter inch shelf. So let's crack into this guy and take a look at the sm handsome, smooth Carl Weathers. All right, and here we have the Magistrate of Navarro, Grief Kaga. Wow, he's looking fantastic. This is a great looking figure. Um, sort of soft plastic over robe here. Oh, I'm yet to decide how I feel about that. It's just might be a little bit clunky. Um, this sort of lack of connection here in the middle is almost Power of the Force era. I'm thinking of like Obi-Wan Kenobi, you know, with his cape. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm feeling that, to be honest. This whole separation there. Um, same on this side. You know, the fact that they don't really line up at all. It just feels a little clunky, but uh, we'll, we'll go on with the review and we'll, uh, we'll get it, make up my mind as I go on. So accessory wise, comes with his little blaster here. Sits in his hands reasonably well. Uh, also he looks holsterable. Holsterable? Yeah, not really. Um, I still got it the wrong way around, but I doubt it. Yeah, maybe it's meant to be like that. I don't know. I feel like it should probably go all the way through. But uh, yeah, it's not going to fit at all that way. But never mind. That's alright. He's going to be holding it anyway. So. so we'll get a close up look at the head sculpt. There we go. That's looking pretty damn good. I'll argue and say I'd I think this is almost better than the uh, Black Series 6 inch version, but he does have this sort of nice grey beard now. That looks kind of good, looks kind of great. Nice, nice look at the face. That's pretty well sculpted, I'll be honest. I like it a lot. That's good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this off and we'll just get a look at his outfit underneath. It looks a little bit weird. He's got a sort of a pretty big neck there, but that's obviously to facilitate like the collar of this once it's on sitting on his shoulders. But a uh, cool looking outfit. We sort of get a look at the articulation here as well. Look at that sort of ab crunch there. Ball hinges there, swivels at the thighs there, single joints at the knees. We get a fair range of movement. Sort of rocker joints at the ankles as well, so that's good. Wrist joints, elbows, he's got it all, he's got the works. So before I put it on, we'll get a look at this sort of coat outfit sort of thing going on here. Now I'm very tempted to sort of maybe just glue that together and slip it over the figure then, but uh. See if I can actually get it on without popping his head off again. Yeah, um, I don't know how I feel about the, the coat thing. I'm not sure that's executed as well as it could have been. Yeah, it's just me. But, uh, you know, for the most part, he is just going to be on display. But uh, this side here, I'm actually, you know, trying to touch that. But, uh, 
otherwise he looks good let's sort of see what they've done here the holster sort of is the sort of part in the fabric there and then you could attach it there if you wanted to personally I'm not sure that I'm actually going to worry about it I'll just get him in a cool pose and have him uh, displayed up on my Mando shelf awaiting some more season 2 characters because that's uh, what we really want isn't it you know, Bug Tan, Boba Fett, Ahsoka. Come on, Hasbro, make it happen. This is a good figure. A bit of a gap in that joint there in the thigh, but it looks like there's just a bit of extra plastic. I'll work that out again. I'm going to fix these figures sometimes, which isn't the best feeling to open up a new figure and have to make repairs and stuff to it straight away to fix toys when they were broken not when they were new what a world we live in <laughs> all right folks i'd love to hear your thoughts down below what do you think of the uh, soft soft plastic sort of robe thing but i dig it please give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed my review of grief Carga from the vintage collection if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do and hit that little notification bell so you don't miss any videos in the future. Thank you very much for watching. Until my next video, may the force be with you, and this is the way.